Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So I guess, small recap, we beat everybody. And I figured, why not end the playthrough on the native module by just having a feast? We never did that feature. And I feel like it's a good way to celebrate destroying literally everybody. Now, technically, not everybody has surrendered, but they own no property. So I think what we're going to do is just go around to the different cities that we now own and I guess get supplies for a big feast. And that's about it. I don't think there's too much else we have to do. Unless the enemy somehow makes a massive comeback from no cities. I mean, I'm not going to say they can't stall the playthrough. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's impossible, just unlikely. But I am kind of curious, though, about some of the differences with the other modules. In particular, I might revisit the base game with some mods themselves to see how I feel about it. So we'll give our, I guess, our quick final thoughts before we jump into anything like a Viking Crusade, just to make sure we cover our opinion towards the game itself before trying another module. I'm going to go ahead and boot up the game now. Who knows? Maybe we'll revisit this game with a purely, purely evil character. I played more like what I call cunning evil, where I definitely did some very bad things, where I felt it was advantageous to do, versus just evil for the sake of evil. And we did a mixture of capturing pris prisoners, and we burned a lot of villages. Though so I definitely did stuff that was not considered good for sure. Just, I guess, ironically enough, we just ended up more good than evil, just because we kept beating so many people in battles and letting them go. Even though we fought them in very dubious and questionable circumstances, I guess the game doesn't penalize us in that sense. Let's go ahead and jump into things. the battle nah, that's yeah I mean the game is over as of day 249 I guess like what I could do is like I could just make another save is I want to return before we do the feast if we look at the reports if I look at the notes see that only the Nords technically exist everybody else has been defeated they own no territories. They have a lot of Jarls, but I don't think it matters. We're just going to rub it in their face. So where were we heading? I think we were heading back to our castle, which I have to think about where it is, given how many different places we own now. Okay, I think it was over here. So Jarls are still being beaten. So if I just let time advance, eventually everybody will just join me. I'm seeing all these people renouncing their four life choices. What was that? Four lords that just abandoned them? Maybe five? So yeah, it's really over. Speaking of really over... I mean, we're still being raided, apparently, but they're just leaving in mass. It's pretty much over. Go to the marketplace. We need to get varieties of food, if I remember correctly. So we have ale, we have wine. Let's get some of this. Get some pork, some extra bread. I think I need anything else here. How am I doing money-wise? 27,000? Oh, that's more than good enough. I love all, all these horses I never ended up using. I guess I'll get rid of most of them, because I just legitimately don't need them. Any fun last minute items? I don't think so. so what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop off our supplies here. In fact, what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna put away basically everybody. I literally don't need them anymore. So if, if they somehow take this kingdom from us, I would be I would be incredibly impressed. Welcome, Chaosvania. Hopefully you're doing well. 
Like, they, they deserve the game. If, if they somehow take this castle from us, like, they're, they're the best of all time. Just never question them again. So I believe we could drop off food items with our wife, who we've barely talked to since we've married. We made her elope, and then we defeated her father multiple times. We have a little bit of randomness to it, so let's give them chicken. Give them some dried meat, give them some pork. I was reading that uh, basically about four of each should be good enough. I'll do five, I guess, for now. Won't let me do that. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna put all the ale together. Why can I not swap the position of these? That's gonna bother me, because I'm trying to count how many of these I have. Got some extra wine. Bit of extra honey. We still have bread to do our own wondering. Although I never put bread in here, so never mind. Do we have enough personal food to make it through? Uh, that looks okay. We have all these junk items I don't need anymore, so we're gonna get about four of each. If I get extra, it's fine. Our goal is to just go from city to city until the game ends, essentially. Hopefully you're doing well today, Chaos Vania. Cabbage? Sure. Looks we'll have that. We'll go to Suno. Apparently more people are in captivity, so they're just losing really hard right now. They lost five of their lords. And we have so many people patrolling, I just don't even think there's any potential way they could have a comeback. Just over. I think we only need one oil, but I'll buy extra just in case. We'll get more dried meat. Get cheese for myself. Go to Praven next. Oh, look at that. We're up to negative nine relationship with somebody. We did it. Hello, Try. Hope you're doing well. Smoke fish. This is looking cool. Another thing of ale, because why not? I'm going to go to Yalen, I think. Huh? I swear I clicked on Yalen, and then it was like, you want to go back to Praven? And I'm like, no. My mouse was nowhere near where that happened. Yeah, we're just waiting for the game to run its clock at this point. In doing so, we'll just throw a big feast. Oh, am I being ambushed? Oh, that's rude. Are, are you guys mad I'm winning the game? Get out of here. Fools. How dare you make me get into combat at the end of the game? Right, who's who's still alive and why is this battle not over? Oh, is he stuck in like a stall or something? Because I definitely don't see anybody over here. But things are going okay, Try. I was gonna say the same cannot be said for these bandits. You did you did zero to me? Oh, that's just sad. Well that did some damage. Now I no longer feel bad for you. Perish. No. Ooh, extra grapes is good. Olives. Extra fish. I forgot about fruit, so I'm gonna get more of these. I'm running out of space. Let's get rid of these items, because I don't literally need any of these anymore. So let's go back to our main place and deposit the items. I'm just seeing all these defecting, defecting, defecting. Raven has become rich, apparently. Um, sure. You can have one of your people back. I don't care. You've already lost the game. What is that really going to do for me? <laughs> it's like, go go ahead. I, I guess. You can have him back. It doesn't matter. 
I now outnumber them in terms of yar- uh, not yarls, in terms of generals. So GG to them. And I got more money. Get more pork. More chicken. Only need cabbage. Now we have enough cabbage. Don't need that anymore. I need more grapes. I get some olives. Definitely a lot of smoked fish. How many chickens do I have? One, two, two of each. Three of each. Don't need oil anymore. Alright, so I'm at four ale. I'm missing one. Do five just because. How many fruit baskets are there? Just two. Need more fruit basket and wine, and we should be good. I'm not sure if dried meat counts as something separate. I guess I'll get another one of these. I have enough cheese. I have one cheese up there. I put none in here, so I need to put in more. One, two, three. I have four things of cheese. I have enough food to walk around for the rest of the game. I don't need to hand these over at all. Should have enough grain. Yeah, I have five grain. I have four bread. That's probably good enough. You know what? I'll even get an extra bread just because... Let's go to, I guess, Tyr and start purchasing things. And I guess if the enemy wants to fight me, I mean, I'll fight them. I, I still don't think they could beat me, even with me having limited people. Two fruit baskets, excellent. That's what I was looking for. Extra pork, good. No wine, though. Lots of ale, no wine. Oh, there's some wine. Nice. I think we got the rest of the wine that we need. I'm gonna cap out on grapes here. I'm gonna get fresh beef. Get an extra thing of smoked fish, just in case. I love that I could just afford to just get all this stuff, because it just doesn't matter anymore. Sure. There you go, get one of your lords back. Give me some cash. Oh. Apparently, dissenters have come to fight me. I mean, as I said before, even without any troops with me, we have all of our companions here. Not really feeling all that worried. Unless it's like a size of like 50-something. I don't think I have anything to really worry about. Speaking of which... Oh, I'm hilariously not even close to the leveling. Okay. I mean, they're essentially just all riding super horses. I could upgrade one of their horses if I really wanted to, but I don't think it'll make a difference. That guy chose to flood. He chose to flee a little too late. Sure, you know what? We'll capture this. Oh yeah, that's right. I still have people in my inventory. That's funny. Oh, game. Drink from my skull. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want that. Game, let me have my victory. Get out of here. I need like one more food type, I think. Otherwise, I think I'm good to go. I definitely have enough alcohol. I have enough oil. I have most food types time four. They're not necessarily max though, so I don't know if that'll impact me negatively, but we do have extra food, if nothing else. I'm not even just at four of each, I'm like sometimes five. Oh, bandits. I remember when you guys were, like, the, the run-enders. You were just annoying to deal with because you just kill all my people. And now we're on heavy nights and don't care at all. Oh, I need spice. That's right. That's one of the major things I'm missing. Oh, 
Like, I'm just casually killing these people. I'm not even bothering with recruits. It's fine. Hmm. I don't think I've seen any spice so far. I've seen salt. Get more fish, just in case I need more. Uh, get another chicken, because that doesn't hurt. Like salt matters. Let's go back and deposit all of our items, and then we'll get a little inventory. Ooh, we're only at negative 63 with Bulba. Ooh, one of our old lords. Sure. Give away one of their generals. I don't think it matters. Even if it extends the playtime, I, re I really don't think it matters for us at all. I wonder if the game is going to say, and then I run out of gold or something weird. Because I had that in my other playthrough, and I was like, but I had like 70,000 gold. How did I run out of money? How is that even possible? Five ale. I have four cheeses. We have at least three pork. I'm going to put the pork that's in here in here. I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to have enough grapes. I'm going to do one, two, three. Now I'm maxed out on wine. Looking at the beef. I have one beef, two beef, three beef. I could get one more beef. Need more fruit. Oh, we already have four fish. Oops. Oh, we're maxed out on the fruit. Do I need cabbage? Nope. I don't need bread or grain. So some spare items in there. So technically, I could just give more items, I guess. I don't know if it really matters. I don't think it does. We'll, we'll give extras in here. Why not? That way, at least we could say we had variety. I don't know what that really impacts so far, but we'll find out. Speaking of which, oh, I think we need to go to uh, Tolga. They want a peace treaty. Yeah, I don't think so. Fools. <laughs> that time passed a long time ago. Oh no. 51 step bandits is kind of annoying. This would be so sad if I lose to these bandits. I mean, like, I have good horsemen, but it is a 5 to 1 scenario, which is not good. And it is the most annoying enemy type in the game, aka people on horses. Fortunately, I don't think they are lancers, but they are archers, which are almost as annoying. I need to do as much as I can here to reduce their numbers. Tell level, sure, we'll level her before the game ends. I mean, we actually killed a surprisingly high number of them ourselves. Especially not too bad. I mean, they're definitely gonna waste our time running around in circles, and because I don't have a lot of troops, if they decide to circle me, there's not much I could do about it. On the plus side, they seem to be doing literally nothing, so that's always nice. Yeah, I can't- I literally can't catch them. This is the worst. Unless they decide to do that. Swung too late there. Yeah, they're literally do- they're hurting my horse, they're not hurting me. Wow, we actually survived that? That's crazy. Took 41 in the back. I thought for sure that would kill him. Oh, he retreated. You know what? That's fine. If they want to retreat, I'm not going to say no. Oh, you do have lances stuck out. Oh. You guys are actually the worst. No thank you. How did he block that? He was in the attack animation. Are you serious? I feel, I feel a little cheated there. I did damage to the horse. We somehow lost the companion, which sucks. The other guy d didn't even die. The other companion saved him from a swift death, so I had to circle back. Hmm. Well, 
Well, I'm glad I have at least some companions with me, so this isn't completely atrocious. I, I literally can't catch them. It's the worst enemy type. Yeah, see this? This is at max speed. Like, unless they turn and slow down on purpose like that, I can't reach them. There we go. Ooh, I did hit the horse. Fortunately, our damage is really high due to using this weapon over and over again. Come on, game. Not the horse I wanted to hit. That sucks. Please retreat. Please just retreat. I, I'm okay with you just retreating. I think he retreated. Nice. Ooh, I just barely clipped him, but it didn't do a lot of damage. That'll kill him, though. Okay, due to the lack of enemies, I think we managed to get through some of them, at least. Still 44. There's still more, really? At least this should be fairly straightforward, or people should just kill them basically instantly. Silly game, stalling us from our victory feast. We just need spices, I think, at this point, and we could definitely get started. We have enough food. <clears throat> we definitely have enough wine. Got more than enough oil. They might not like the food variety, so I'm not sure if we'll get full points there, but... Anything else should be completely fine. Oh, we barely outspeed this guy. There we go. Oh, he fell on top of the horse. Um. I mean, I guess I could bring more manhunters with me. They're at least on horse, so it should be okay. Tell them to go away. I don't even want to fight them anymore. We should be getting a profit here. Only a profit of 9,000. Hmm. Not as much as I was hoping for. If I, I was going to say, if I remember correctly, there should be spices here. And indeed there were. We're going to get three spices. We're going to get extra fruit. Oh, I didn't have a lot of honey. Hmm. I don't know if that makes a difference. Let's go back the way we came. My men would like a word with you about your purse and your belongings. 86? Oh, no. This is going to take forever. Game, please. Why were there 86 in one group? Well, I'm glad I got 10 extra companions, even if they don't do that much. This is going to be so tedious. We just need more bodies to block for our companions. And or more people hunt them down while they're on horse. They one shot the other guy's horse, but he didn't die, which is important. <laughs> I was so worried he was gonna get me there. early. There we go. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna do what I can to speed this up, but at least we also have more people for tactics. That way I don't lose any of my companions due to negative advantage. Got 
more nib, that's annoying. Okay, at least manhunters are doing some work. They knocked down a manhunter, that's fine. That's an acceptable casualty. Yeah, who who would have thought the end game, the Purple Kingdom, still trolls me? Stupid Purple Kingdom. You are legitimately the worst. I can't imagine starting here first. It must be so horrendous. I received couch lance damage. Seriously? He was barely even moving. How did that hit me? The worst part is I could actually lose this fight due to that. It's so annoying. I just hope in the next campaign, if we play Viking Conquest, I really hope lances are not a thing. If they're not, that would actually make me so happy. I don't care if spears are a thing, but I really don't want couch lance damage, like, at all. I, I want that removed from the game. Now, that'll be my only hope for Viking Conquest. It could change nothing else, but just no lances. Because it doesn't fit the time period or whatever, and I would just be so happy. So I'm like, please don't make me do it. I hate the lances so much. Oh. Swung a little too late there. Losing some people, but it's not the end of the world here. Kill that guy at least. Because the thing is, they're just gonna hit and run me, and there's nothing I could do about it, which is really lame. Because even if I got on foot and did crossbow, I could just die to couch lance randomly. Which I don't really want to risk. Took two swings for me, I didn't have enough momentum. That sucks. Please leave the battlefield. Please don't. Please don't mess with me. Okay. I forcibly made him leave the battlefield the other way. I guess that works. Please leave the battlefield. I don't care if they escape. I just want them not fighting me. I don't need the experience. Okay. There are a couple of arrows coming towards me. Please leave the battlefield. Please leave the battlefield. Got him on the revenge return angle, I guess. Losing a lot of manhunters, but this is okay. It means our companions are still mostly doing fine. Due to not being filled with arrows. 232 damage, ridiculous. Yeah, I've killed at least 12, maybe 15, so I, I really need our companions to step up a little bit here. Like, I'm putting in so much work right now. Game, please. I just have my companions kill at least six each. If they did, the, bas the battle would have been over by now. Okay, good. I force one to retreat. I see literally nobody, so we're gonna go this way, see if we can find some people. I'm just putting in some more. They all just, they all just fleeing in random directions. I think they are. Nice, I clipped them. They'll speed things up significantly. We're honing in on the last few people, presumably. Killed that guy and the horse. We still have the people on heavy. Night horses, that's good. Is that the final guy? Okay, it is good. good. No more 81 fights, please. Still have to fight more people. That's okay. We outnumber this time. Upgrading the manhunter would actually be good for us if they also remain on horse. Making them slightly tankier would not hurt, given how annoying these fights are. Game, please. 
At least I unhorsed him. Nice. Be very few people left at this point. The leveling our companions might actually matter if we keep getting into fights. If they could do more damage or be more accurate, that would be huge for us. It's just this guy left. They unhorsed him, so I'm pretty sure it's over. Nice. Alright, please, please no more random huge number ambushes. Um... I'm gonna get two caravan guards, just because I really don't want to deal with them. Terrible horses, they could keep them. Until this leveled, we could give her a power draw. I might as well as int her so she could get power draw again. Just improve her archery. That way if she does decide she wants to snipe people, at least she's accurate and does damage. Don't need anything else here. And Hunters became slave drivers, so they did upgrade a little bit, it looks like. Although, do they even have a shield now? If they don't, that kind of sucks, actually. I think they don't. Actually, it really sucks. Oh well. Let's go to one of the kingdoms over here, and hopefully we don't come across another super group. Oh! Gladria conquered by one kingdom. The best killing them has defeated all rivals and stands as the soul kingdom. So, I'm curious. If we save and we just immediately game over, we're going to take an action and retire from adventuring. I want to see what our score is before and after the feast. You're at day 255. Your current luck is 166. Are you sure you want to retire? Sure. Let's move it over so we can see as of literally the time that we conquered the game. What the score is. It probably will go down for doing the feast, but I just want to see what our official score is. Move this over here. There we go. Total score is 220. Settlements owned by you, 760. Friendly settlements, 0. Hostile settlements, 2. Got a negative score. Friendly lords, 24. Enemy lords, ne uh, th minus 3. Victory. Defeats. Oh, we never got a defeat. Interesting. Companions lost, departed. You get a score for that? That sucks. Quest completed, 252 points. We have like a million points of renown. Oh, we only got 16% of our score due to the difficulty, so we only got a 220 due to that. Once you leave, you realize your money won't last. It doesn't take you long to fritter away. Will you, will you bother to save and end up a penniless drifter going from tavern to tavern, blagging drinks from adult of patrons by regaling them with way war stories that no one ever believes? Oh. So I, I still tech- I got like the bad score thing, which is funny to me. I don't know, that was pretty convincing. So sadly, we beat the game but got, got a bad score due to difficulty. I wonder if you just crank up the difficulty before retiring, if that confuses the game. <laughs> I, I'm really curious if you could just cheat it. Uh, don't need any of these. Please do not bump into the super horses. Let's go to marketplace. Okay. Well, I suppose at this point there's no reason to hold back, so we're just gonna go right back to our final area and hold the feast. So the last thing we will ever do in this playthrough. We're still being raided randomly, even though there's no one left. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. Let's throw a feast and celebration, because there's literally no one left other than people still in the Nordic army, allegedly, even though their kingdom is no more. Not sure how that works, but that's fine. Let's take inventory. We're going to put in spice, a little bit of extra honey, extra smoked fish, more grapes. 
I think this is probably good enough. We're gonna say we should hold a feast. Read the dialogue. Splendid idea, my husband. However, do not insult our guests. We must make sure we provide a large and varied repast for the lords, their families, and their ret retinues. As all told, we should count on a couple hundred mouths to feed over several days. Let's take inventory of our household possessions. Our food went much come before anything else. The amount is magnificent, and the variety is magnificent. Okay, so I think that's the highest rating. If they say magnificent, it should be good. Of drink, which guests will expect in great abundance, the amount is magnificent, the variety is magnificent. Of spice, which is essential to demonstrate we spare no expenses hosts, the amount is magnificent. Of oil, which we require to light the lamps, the amount is magnificent. Overall, our type will, should be, will be considered sufficient. Um, I guess I could put one more thing of food in here, just in case. Put one more thing of fish. Let's dispatch the invitations. Very well. The feasts begin immediately at our court here in Sanuzga Castle. You perhaps should continue to stock our larder, so that we may do justice to our reputation for hospitality. Declare the feast to be concluded at any time, either by beginning a campaign or by letting it be known the vassals can return to their homes. Okay. Now we just need time to pass. So we'll go back here and get potentially more food, at least. Love how there's just some guy waiting for us. Like, please recruit me, and I'm like, no. Get an extra thing of ale, because why not? Probably need that at some point. We definitely have enough food. See more people being taken prison. All right. Nice. One more thing of oil, because why not? And let's go back to our castle, see if anybody arrived. Everybody's defecting. Seems like a few people are there. We'll let this guy get there, and we'll go inside. Let's join the feast, see all the people here that we... I guess are friends with. I could technically just recruit everybody at the end if I really wanted to, even though they'd probably annoy everybody. Let's make sure to give one of each. I think we're looking good here. Tell Clark is to go away. Like, I'm gonna tell everybody to go away. I'm gonna go to the feast and purposely make everybody mad. Let's do the opposite of the intent of the feast. Get these people out of here. You people had your chance to be friends with me. It's too late now. I want to see who's specifically in our kingdom. Raffer could have been interesting, but again, too little too late. Where are our people at? I've only seen people that... Yeah, the guy's resentful and wants to join our kingdom. Surrender or die, make your choice? What? Why is he threatening me? I think the game's a little confused. Okay, where are our people for the feast? I'm confused. There's like seven people that should be with us. I'm gonna tell all these people to get out of here. I kind of just want to interact with the people that should be in our kingdom, not the people that want to join us. Do we have, like, so many people the game can't load in our seven lords or something? I'm so confused. I don't think they thought this feature through. Everybody hates us. <laughs> We're going to get a definitely lower score because I made so many people hate us just now. Oh, right, seriously, where are people at? This is ridiculous. We should have like 12 people here. Where are they? What is this? Are we still cycling through people we don't need? Game, please.
I definitely don't think they tested this. Seriously, how have we not found a single one of our lords? Oh, you're at 100%? Oh, we'll bring you. <laughs> okay, we'll bring in the people that are 100 relation with us. If they had food, I poisoned them all. They're in the bathroom. I mean, we have people that, like, we can see we're at, like, 100 plus relationship. Like, where are the actual interesting people at? Sure, we'll become friends with them, whatever. I'm so, I'm so lost. Are they, like, all up there or something? Another person that's at 100. I mean, they're gonna hate me more because I'm not gonna give them territory. I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought we were going to have, like, a circle where everybody joins us, but I think there's so many people that I ignored that I, I physically can't do anything about it. Go away, Harold. I don't want to talk to you. I was going to say, this is the most boring feast ever. Definitely apologies. I thought the game would do a little better than this. Come on. Where are our people at? I just recruited, like, seven more. Sure, we'll put you in the team. Why not? You're in the team, too. I mean, technically, I could have recruited everybody since it doesn't matter, but I, I seriously just want to find our own people. Did we did we have so many people looking to join us that they, we just can't? I love the people looking to join us when they're suspicious of us. please where are our lords fine i'll take you you're 77 76 good enough one day chat we will find the people that should be on our army oh my gosh i found somebody that was actually supposed to be here we got one relationship for talking with him did we get one relationship Every time we speak with them. So yeah, that's that's very much a short-sighted thing. We can't raise the relationship with people because we had so many people in the castle that we'd either have to recruit them or get them to leave. They did not think that through. Everybody's just telling me to good health. So we got like negative 300-something relationship and got one point of relationship otherwise. So completely not worth doing. I think I finally chatted to everybody. I think everybody here is actually on our team now because I recruited so many people. Oh, we're at 100 relationship with him. We went up four points. Interesting. I guess because I did something with him earlier. So there. We, we did the feast. Sadly, there's no animation or anything, apparently. We'll circle around one more time. And then I guess we'll talk about the game afterwards. Because I don't think anybody new appeared. We could give other people troops if we want to. You know what, since we're here, what what happens if I decide to make one of our companions a lord? We never actually did that in the playthrough. Let's see what that does. Um, Grant one of my vassals a thief. Uh, Actually, I don't need this right now. Not what I meant. Uh... Oh, can you not do it from this menu? We'll claim Sargoth and Tyr, Ravidin, Udon, and Tolga, Baral, and Wercheg, and Rivacheg, and Halmar, and Yelin, and Dirim, Ikabar, Nara, and Shiriz, Ikurka, and Breyer. You now own all the major cities. Do I have to talk to them in the companion menu or something? Let's give, I guess, Bundik Lordship. To ask you something. Be interested in holding a thief. Uh, we'll give him Grimog Castle, which made a lot of people angry. Relationship with Bundik increased from 0 to 10. Bundik left the party. You'd make me a lord. Well, no thank you, but if you would call me a Tribune, the Tribunes being the people's servants in the old times, I suppose I could bring myself to Rondramek Castle for you. 
Put food in the bellies of the hungry and raise a fine force of Rodok foot to fight on your behalf, brother. I can't promise the real blue buds will be enjoying rubbing shoulders with me in your consoles. So I guess that's how you get all of the companions. I guess we'll just make all of them lords and retire. Give him a castle, why not? Grandma Castle is a thief. <laughs> I love that Bundit got jealous and he went to 43 or 43 to 42. Um, uh, but now that you mentioned I can make this place turn to friend of revenue. We'll make Mattel the Lord. I think that's what she wanted. We'll give her <laughs> give her Corral or whatever. Make them ultra bad. Make me a thing. Well, I suppose that I could postpone reclaiming my inheritance for a little longer and make my great hall a Corral. Someday I may travel overseas to take back what is mine, but until then, be pleased to raise a band of brother or battle hardened Nords and fight under your banner. So let me get this straight. I fought with them the entire game and all I got was 40 relationship with them. That is completely not worth it. Okay, we're retiring. It's over. We're gonna go to sleep and think about the disappointment. Game, please. Nice, another lord went in there, but too bad. Let's retire. Oh, we ended up with more points somehow. How did that happen? Oh, because I took ownership of the... Po oh, so if I just mass grab everything from everybody, I get more score. Interesting. So at the end of the game, when I just want a score total, I could just take the territory from everybody. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So we technically went up in points, even though I made many people my enemies. Who would have thought, Chad? Who would have thought? Although maybe with enemy lords, maybe it just means the people that are technically still not on my team. Because we definitely had like eight people that hated us. I think they just don't count towards friendly lords, so we got less points there. So let's, I guess, remain in retirement. Decisions made, you resolve to give up your adventurer's life and settle down. You sell off your weapons and armor, gather up all your money, and ride off into the sunset. Farewell. So I guess what we'll do is we will end this part here for now, and we're going to give a review of the native mod before we try another module. So how did I feel like this particular minor session went? Well, feasting, I guess if it lasts multiple days, you could get up to like maybe four or five points for each of the people that attend. It seems like it's more hassle than it's worth. So I probably still won't do that unless I'm really desperate for relationship for some reason. But the fact that it also requires you to be married to do, I think is really dumb. I think you should be able to hold feasts with like just a minister, to be honest. I'm not happy that that's like relationship blocked for some reason. But overall, I think we learned what we already knew, which was the enemy stood no chance against us. So GG to the enemy team. But for now, we're going to briefly say goodbye to YouTube and then hello again to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.